Uh, first we start out, this is our first operation. Uh, we do all our pre-machining just so that we can establish a datum point once we get it up onto the machine so that we can actually start machining this and turning this piece of aluminum into a cylinder head. We have three satellite foundries. All castings come in on pallets. They get inspected by this individual. He goes ahead and he sets it up and does our first stop machining. One thing that we stress as we go through each you know, individual operation is in-process inspection. So we have a quality control manager um, and he stresses some of the problems that we found. And so we stress that individually to every operator at every point within the shop so that we're double checking everybody. So his number one concern is, is that as the casting comes in, you know, we have multiple different grades of castings that come in um, from the Ford Foundry. Different, different alloys? Different styles. We have 205, 225, 165, 185s, all different variations for different cubic inch motors. Okay. Okay. And so it's his job to identify the casting, identify the type of casting, identify the condition of the casting, and then first op the uh, first op. Okay. When you're rolling out with all those numbers, what do they actually mean? What 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 marks uh, 155 from a 255? What? It's actually the intake runner volume is what identifies our different product lines. Um, the you know it's 165 cc's is is our 165 version and so forth and so on. So the 205 225 is more of your you know, full race, hardcore application for your, for your big time racers. 165 is more of your OEM type swap out, you know, application where they'd bolt on and, and they'd gain, you know, 25, 50, 100 horsepower depending on the application. So you're telling me when they come from the, the foundry, uh, you, do you have any kind of proprietary uh, runner shape that you actually uh, hand them the cores or the, the, tell them how to make the core and that determines what size casting they're going to make today? It's, it, it's all correct. It, it is proprietary. We, we develop a port that works. Um, in our engineering department, they scan the surface, they create a functional surface, and once we qualify that surface, then we actually have cores that are developed from that surface, and then added, uh, we actually reduce the surface to add material so that we'll get 100% cleanup in our five-axis CNC porting version. One of the unique things that we do on this is that we actually go in and we probe the part to check for part identification. Not only was this part correct when it came in from the foundry, but also was it set up in the machine correctly. So by putting it in and locking it down, all we've done is just created a stable environment. But now we're going to go in and we're going to identify to make sure that the part is actually in the right location from both the foundry and from our operator. If it, if it runs into any kind of problems and it doesn't match up to the, to the correct co uh, coordinates, then it's going to go ahead and stop the machine, ask okay, the operator so to check his some parts. Kind of tooling index. So Chris, where's the next stop on our tour here? Next operation is our uh, twin uh, horizontals that we have that actually take the cylinder head and turn it into a functional cylinder head. 